Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is bright and early and I am about to join the podcast and film a couple of podcast episodes with Saf. We did originally have a double booked in for this morning, so we were meant to be doing four episodes today. However, we made a slight little up with the timing so we're now only doing two and then we're gonna have to do another two at some point this week but i'm up bright and early please just ignore the fact i'm in the same top as my last vlog when i rediscover a top in my wardrobe i tend to just love wearing it and because i work from home i feel like it's so fine for me just to wear this same top and it's so comfy it's from sisters and seekers so i thought you know what i'm just gonna wear it again but i'm gonna do this and then today i've got a very busy day of just filming and getting stuff done and then i think byron and freya might be coming over to mine tonight for dinner I was on Facebook to them last night and I said I need to use up this food in my fridge So if you would like to come over that'd be really handy because then I can cook for multiple people And I'll ask Callum if he wants to come over too So yeah, that is the plan for today and then tomorrow I'm so excited get to me to Costco haven't been to Costco I don't think I've been this year actually I think the last time I went was last year and it's one of the most exciting days because I love filling up my little snack drawer I feel like recently I haven't had like snacks in the house like my snacking has been the mini pitters and the M&S dips so I'm really excited to have some like actual snacks ever since not drinking full fat coke I haven't really been eating as much like sugar or like salt or anything like that so I feel like I just need to get some chocolate in the house speaking of that though I have got a coke zero here and I got an ice cube tray don't know why I've never had an ice cube tray before and I actually filled it up and it's so much nicer having ice in my drinks cheers to a nice little crisp coke zero i'm recording two episodes of the podcast I promise I will stop going on about the cucumber salad soon, but anything to do with food just excites me so much. I have just made this one and it was a chicken Caesar cucumber salad. I used the M&S chicken Caesar dip and I put like chili oil, onion, garlic, avocado, chicken in it. And I've made it for TikTok. It's on TikTok if you want to see. Oh my goodness. And this just feels filling as well. Like this feels so much more filling because it's got a lot more substance to it than just cucumber. Wow. My lunch. Wow. Well, I have been spending the morning literally work, work, work. Can't really film the behind the scenes of it. I've tried to do it in vlogs before and it just doesn't really work because I'm always using my cameras. I'm always using my phones. And to be honest, you probably don't want to see me filming the behind the scenes of my ads because it's really not that interesting because you're going to probably see the ad anyway. So I've literally done back to back to back work this morning and then just filmed a little TikTok and making this. So the rest of my afternoon is going to be spent firmly on the sofa editing i actually wish i could get better at working in the office but i just can't do it like obviously we record the podcast in the office but i just much prefer to sit on the sofa and get comfy and like put something like background noise on the tv and then just really sit and focus so i'm gonna get everything done before byron comes over later so i don't think freya's coming over anymore she's going to the girls so we can just literally just sit and chill all evening I need to buy some metal chopsticks though because these wooden ones aren't really doing it. And I also don't want to keep putting these in the dishwasher. So I think they're just going to go funny. But... 10 10 for my lunch today obsessed also apologies if some of my clips in my last vlog looked a little bit yellow i realized my camera had switched to like a warm tone setting because i was looking at the clips back thinking like why do i look so yellow and why do it look so warm no i actually just had a setting turned on on my camera so i do apologize about that it is now fixed and i'm back to looking normal again it's haul time i just went downstairs to collect some posts because i actually ordered something from amazon and i've actually got a couple of other parcels so i thought we could do a little opening i obviously was going to costco tomorrow Basically, I really want to get some like syrups and stuff so I can start making ice lattes and matcha at home because I realised as long as they have syrup in, I actually really like them. I mean, I love matcha, like white chocolate matcha from Blank Street is just 10 10 anyway, but I just really like things with syrup in. So I've actually ordered some like syrup dispensers to put out on my side and it comes with like a hundred different stickers. So there's definitely going to be the ones that I want. Yeah, there's caramel already, which I'm going to buy and loads of others. And then you've got the two little dispensers at the top and these are going to be so lovely they were only like 12 pounds i think for the both oh my god they need a really good clean though they look really like dusty inside i don't know whether they're meant to look like that but i just thought these are going to be so lovely does that need to come off no i'm really confused anyway they're going to be so nice on my kitchen side so i ordered these if you guys actually want me to make an amazon storefront i can because i feel like i order and mention quite a lot of stuff from amazon i feel like it'd be quite handy to have it linked in the description of my videos i know i'm awful at linking stuff but as she says she will link it i don't know what that for. but yeah i thought these were really cute so i'm gonna see what syrups i can find in costco tomorrow and then i can put those out on my side because don't really have much going on on my kitchen side and i feel like i need to make it a little bit more exciting and then i actually can order on jd london my plan is to wear some of this for pride this weekend but that might not work out because but like every time i order from jd it either fits me perfectly or it doesn't fit me at all so let's see 
see what I've got in here. I ordered, this cold is lovely. Although it might be a bit too cold to wear this weekend because the weather doesn't look too great. But this is the score. I wouldn't have got this if it was just a skirt but because it's shorts as well. I thought this would be really good and that actually does look like it's going to fit me. It does look a bit wide. But we'll see. So I got that and then I got the matching crop top, which I thought was lovely. I just thought this was so nice. Look at it, it's like a corset and then it ties up around your neck. So I got that, that is lovely. I'm gonna try that on in a second. Fingers crossed it fits. Then I got this top, I was actually influenced to buy this top. A girl was doing an outfit of the day and this is what made me do a jaded order. And I thought it was basically just the way that she styled the top, but then I went on to jaded and it was how they styled it. And it's this like halter neck top. If my boobs fit in this, it's gonna be a miracle. But it looks like this, so it's really, really long, but then you tie these bits round your belt loops on your jeans and it honestly looked amazing. So I'm actually kind of thinking I might have to wear a bikini underneath this, which is a little bit annoying because I would love to be able just to wear it without, but I can safely say I don't think my boobs are going to be holding up in this. We'll try, we'll see, but yeah, I just absolutely loved how the girl styled it on TikTok. So fingers crossed that that will fit me. And then I know this is going to fit because this is just a normal t-shirt, but I got a football top and it was like this and it's got number 13 on it, which is my lucky number and my birthday. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I really want to get it. And it will actually match. I've got these boots from JD London that literally nobody apart from me and Byron like, but I love them. I think they're like ugly cool shoes and they're red with yellow laces. So I thought they would look really nice with that top. So they are the bits that I got from Jaden London. I'm gonna keep all the packaging until I've tried it all on because I might have to send some of it back. Then I've got two other parcels here. Now I am expecting a parcel for something that I'm working on at the moment, but I just don't think it's gonna be able to fit in one of these boxes. Oh, this is done up very well. I also need to go and get my nails done this week because one of them is starting to lift and it's killing me. I'm so scared. I'm gonna catch it at like the wrong point. Oh, this is from Rabat. I'm going to assume it's going to be another perfume, which is exciting. I've got so many perfumes that I need to start trying. I've been loving the Burberry one, and I actually did wear a Rabat one for a while as well. Nude by Rabat. Oh, maybe it's not perfume, actually. It's in like a little... Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow, there's another one inside. This is so weird. I literally thinking to myself the other day when I was organising my house, I need some more little bags. Oh, it's not perfume. It's makeup. Oh, wow, there's a Fresh Touch foundation. Is that another foundation? There's two foundations and then a mini blush palette. <gasps> Thank you so much, Raban. I love these bags. These are going to be so good for traveling. Thank you so much. And they are gorgeous, gorgeous colors as well. Oh my God, what a lovely little treat. Thank you. Then we've got the final box. This definitely isn't going to be what I think it is. And I really needed it to be it, but I don't think it is because it feels like it's like got liquid in. I might be wrong, but it just feels very like, I don't know. What is this? It's in a pink box. Oh wow, celebrate with a boom, show off your run day Bacardi bottle. It's from Boom Battle Bar. I always go to Boom Battle Bar in Manchester. It's like one of the best places to go. We always go there to like sing karaoke and play beer pong and stuff. So I'm gonna assume this might be alcohol. So actually I was right when I said I could feel liquid. <gasps> wow, it is. Cheers to run day. We hope you enjoy your very own bottle of Bacardi. Use the Polaroid at one of our Boom Battle Bar venues for a zombie share on us. Spoiler alert, they're epic. Oh my God, thank you so much. I've got a little voucher for next time we go in. <gasps> no way, it says my name on the bottle. Oh my god, that is so sick. It says Anastasia sipping on Bacardi rum. Oh my god, Boom Battle Bar, thank you so much. That is going to go straight in my little wine fridge because I really want to learn to make a strawberry daiquiri. That is my all-time favourite drink. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to really be able to make a frozen one in here. I have Ninja Creamy, so I guess I could. I don't really know. I can definitely make a normal one, but now I have a bottle of rum because rum's really not something that I would normally like buy. Like It's normally just something I get in a cocktail when I'm out. Oh, but what a little treat. Oh my god, I have been spoiled today with these packages. Thank you so, so much. I'm now going to sit, pack all that away, try these clothes on. Oh my God. I'm actually obsessed with this. I love it. I am all showered. I feel like a new person. I have not had straight hair for weeks. Like normally I just dye some air out my hair or just leave it to dry naturally. But I actually hair dried it and then straightened it just to see how long my natural hair has actually gotten. And it is so long now. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna leave it straight. But Byron is on his way over and I am about to cook dinner. I'm gonna cook us a spaghetti bolognese because I've got some mints I need to use up. I've got a load of different like sauces and veg. So that's really the only meal I can cook. I actually really fancy a nice, like, hearty spaghetti bolognese. Hey 
here is my dinner it kind of looks like a big pile of a lot but nothing at the same time but i think it's gonna be really nice i seasoned the bolognese with like loads of new seasonings so i'm really excited for this this is what it looks like without the cheese so just ignore all of the mess on the side but it actually looked really good before i put the cheese on look at this byron has pointed out a circle on my tv and i don't know if it's a pixel or if it's on her vlog and it's all i can stare at i'm so confused no, I, think it's in the, I think it's in the i don't think a pixel in the cat on the tv would be that big these days well surely not. but also wouldn't it be square this is what i'm confused about oh no she's just put a finger on that one i don't know about that one what is that then? it might just be a speck of this one Oh, I hope it is. I've never noticed it before. Now, literally every time I watch a film, all I'm going to be staring at is this white dot. I've not noticed it until this clip. Well, I haven't either. Right, Anna just said to me, basically I'm leaving, and I said I don't want to walk home. And Anna said she can get into bed in 10 steps. So I said 10 steps, no more or less. And that's how you've got to sleep. Okay, I have to step out. One. Oh my Two. God, I think I'm Two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I think I'm gonna do it. Four, you're easily doing Four. that. Five. Oh, I'm easily gonna do it. I can take it once now. Six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Yeah! <laughs> Why did I take such big steps in the kitchen? I'm so embarrassed to watch that back. I just watched it back. Why on earth was I doing mega step from the kitchen? I thought in my head, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this in 10 steps. Turned out I easily can. We then just did it several other times to see how many normal steps I could do it in and I could do it in 13. So I don't know why I just embarrassed myself and did that. But Byron has now gone. We literally had the loveliest evening. We had dinner and then we were just sat watching Zoe and Alfie's Vloggist for honestly, I think the past like five hours. We've basically caught up now. We've got tonight's left to watch. We'll probably end up watching that tomorrow when they upload a new one but it's just so lovely honestly I cannot wait I mean don't get me wrong I'm not wishing my life away but I honestly cannot wait until I'm at that point where like I'm just like Zoe and Alfie like with a family and just like doing that every day it just looks like they just live the most beautiful like dream life and I'm just so excited it makes me so broody when I watch their kids like when I watch like Ottilie and Novi oh guys obviously no kids yet obviously who the fuck am I gonna have kids with right now but I honestly I get so excited to have children especially when I watch their vlogs I'm like oh my god I cannot wait for that day to come but I am gonna go to bed now because we're going to Costco in the morning really excited I was just saying to Byron basically I really want to get some form of like activity to do in the house like a pool table or like a basketball hoop or something like that but obviously I can't fit that in my flat because like my flat's roomy but not roomy enough for a pool table so I'm gonna see in Costco if they have like a tabletop pool table or like a basketball hoop I can put on the back of the door or something like that just so we have some form of like activity to do so I'd really really like something like that in the house okay, I'm gonna go to bed now because I need to stop thinking about silly things that I need to buy because I don't need to buy that but I just want to buy it Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I actually just sat and filmed a really long chatty clip whilst I started to do my makeup and something just told me to check it back just to make sure it was in focus and the whole clip was out of focus. So am I even in focus now? I think I'm in focus now. I can't see I don't have my glasses on, but I'm gonna have to restart that again. So I have genuinely had the loveliest chill morning doing absolutely nothing. I made myself some breakfast and I sat in bed and I've ended up and I'm so happy about it on Disney World TikTok and oh my god it is just the most magical place to be ever I'm such a Disney adult like I just absolutely love Disney and I have a bit of an obsession with Disney World ever since we went a couple of years ago I just honestly like I want to go back so so bad it's just the most carefree two weeks I've ever had of my whole entire life and it was just amazing so I've ended up on like these girls who have been like accepted as part of this like exchange program to do whilst they're at uni to work at Disney and I literally spent an hour like binge watching all of their daily vlogs from the last like six weeks and I've just followed a couple of the girls because now I've been watching it all the other people who work at Disney are coming up on my for you page and it's such a gorgeous for you page to be on I am absolutely loving it so today we are going to Costco cannot wait I am going in there with a slight idea of what I want to buy I basically want to create myself a really nice snack drawer 
because I haven't had a nice snack drawer for a very long time and that was something that I prided myself off of having good snacks and they really need some work so I'm gonna do a nice snack drawer I want to get some drinks because I do love a coke zero and I think it's just gonna be a lot easier to buy it in bulk rather than just constantly buying like the odd can from downstairs or like a six pack that's gonna cost me like five pounds I'd rather just go to Costco and buy them in bulk and then just stock my fridge out so I'm gonna go and do that and then I just want to buy some stuff for like the cupboards like pasta sauces and things like that because it's just so much cheaper to buy it in bulk so that is the plan for today I'm not really doing much else to be honest my eyebrows really aren't on my side today I don't know what is going on with my brows but one thing I am loving is my hair straight it feels amazing and it feels so nice to actually see like how long my natural hair has got because when I do the Dyson air wrap I can't actually see because obviously my hair is like permanently like bouncy curls but to have my hair straight feels so nice and like I was saying yesterday I haven't seen myself with straight hair for so long so I'm actually quite excited to style my straight hair today like with an outfit the brows are not browing today but we're gonna pull this makeup look together I'm gonna put my camera on charge because my camera is flashing red and I want to be able to vlog Costco for you and then we can head out I'm gonna go and pick Callum and Byron up and then we can drive to the traffic center I actually have lost my Costco card it's a good job that Callum has also got a Costco card because mine is somewhere in one of my handbags and I don't know where want to do a little outfit of the day because this outfit is very basic but I think it's really cute so I've just got on a little black top from lounge my black white fox jeans with the belt that I got from Ibiza Old Town then I actually had a bag from white fox in my wardrobe it's the exact same color as the belt and then I'm wearing I'm gonna have to take them off but my little red loafers that I got from mango in Ibiza as well and I just love it because all the accessories are the same color oh, I love this outfit and go I'm really loving the straight hair like maybe I actually need to bring back my straight hair because I used to have it all the time when I was younger and then I just stopped doing it because I didn't really want to use that much heat on my hair but I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, we're going to go pick the boys up now and we're going to go to Costco and we're going to go do a big, big shot. Welcome to Costco everyone. First things first, we all got a big slice of pizza. Wow. The camera never eats first. We got back in the car to eat the pizza because the boys didn't want to stand. I was I don't stand you really. also want to stand. <laughs> no, I, I said we can stand. I was going to stand. I know. Mm. Oh my god, that's a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> We started shopping. I've got some cookies. Everyone, well, everyone, these two have told me not to buy the cookies. I'm not going to eat them, so I'm going to prove them wrong. No, they won't. I'm not going to buy it. It's $7.99 for a big chicken Caesar salad. It looks unreal. And look at this sushi. That just seems awfully cheap for that much sushi. We're buying our drinks for Pride this weekend because we'll be pre a lot. So I think I'm actually going to drink the Serrano, which is very new for me, but on a bite here, so it's cheaper. Current situation with Cholly. I have bought 60 cans of Coke Zero. What's that? Salted bread. Oh, guys, look what Callum has just found. The only annoying thing is I've already got the first oh. two. And there's no point because I can buy the other three for 30 quid. Oh my God, though, if you want to read these books, come to Costco get it in and the buy nice them. Box for the same price. I know, but there's no point because I'm not, I don't need the other two books, but that is unbelievable. These are £10 each and I really don't need to be spending that, but sesame sauce and teriyaki glaze. Oh my God, that sounds unreal. This is Byron slagging off my trolley for all the things that I've bought because everyone in here has a business. What did you say to your oh, vlog? so random. This is my business. This is what everyone wants I've to see me eat. At people walking out thinking, what do they do? And like, what companies must they own? And people might be thinking that about it. We are now back from Costco, so I'm going to do you, well, actually a fairly big Costco haul. So, did buy 60 cans of Coke, however, 30 of them are still in the car because we couldn't carry them up. Forgot that you can't get bags from Costco, or if you can, I couldn't see them anywhere. So, we just had to carry everything up, but I got 30 cans of Coke Zero. I got six sauces for pasta, which is cheaper. Buy it from Costco. I got the big tray of cookies. So excited. I haven't had Costco cookies in so long. I got 48 crunchies to go in snack drawer. I got these little trolley burgers, which I love. And then I got some arrows. I haven't had arrows in the longest time. And I forgot how much I love these. And I saw the box and I was like, yeah, I really want those. Then I got some crisps. I got these ones, sea salt and balsamic vinegar. I thought they sounded really nice. So I got some of those. I got six chocolate zero yogurts. And then I just got some other drinks. I got some s'mores, frappuccinos and some 
some grenade protein shakes. Then I got a big bottle of Di Serrano for this weekend. I got this spicy mayo, which Callum said is really spicy. Oh, oh maybe it's not really spicy then. It's the Frank's Red Hot Spicy Mayo, but I really fancy it when I saw that. And then I got some Kinder Bars for Atticus when he comes up next week. I got these little cheesecake bites, and then I got six Nomadic Yogurt Pops, because I'm not really been fancying anything for breakfast in the mornings. I bought avocados and stuff to have, but I just haven't really been fancying like a big avocado bagel, so I thought they would be good to have in the morning. So I'm gonna pack all this away, and then I can show you what it looks like once I've organized the fridge and the drawer. I also bought this gigantic squeezy tube tube pot i don't know what it's called of honey this is only eight pound and honey is expensive like in asda and stuff you'd get like a small pot for four pounds so i thought that was really good for eight pound guys oh, i have an issue about them i'm just missing sorting the fridge out oh my god just put all of my cans of coke well half the cans of coke um and we're just trying to sort out Callum and Byron's birthday, but Byron refuses to go to Blackpool. That's the best half there is. So we've got our stuff at Birds and Doom moment today. Yeah. I'm actually quite sad. I would have liked to, I know it's not my birthday, but I actually would have liked to have gone to Blackpool. I'm not going to Blackpool, they might have gone to Well, it's saying we've ended it now. We're not doing the same thing. Well, yeah, no one's going to Blackpool. So birthday's cancelled. All to no arrangements will be made in due course. I'm just sorting out my fridge. I'm just packing everything away. Bless her. <laughs> Bless her. I just love having a full fridge. Imagine if I do I'm your such a host. Plans the week before. The same as me. I'll be f***ing <laughs> <laughs> You probably want this one. No, I wouldn't. Myron, you probably would. <laughs> you would. That's so funny. You can't do that. Well, why don't you do Liverpool out? I don't know what I want to do. We really could yes. have such a nice house party, Byron. But I don't think anyone will have a house party. I've given many suggestions. The thing is, what I don't like is the, the idea yeah. of having to drink if I'm not in the mood to drink on the day. You don't want to drink? Well, if I don't want to drink on the day, then I've organised this clash. I think you're thinking way too much into it. The fridge is looking gorgeous. I am now about to get into bed and I'm gonna watch the last two episodes of Love Is Blind UK. I was just deciding what to have for a snack and I think I'm gonna have one of these. I'm gonna have a chocolate yogurt and then let me show you my snack drawer. I'm sorry, this is looking all types of amazing. And then underneath the cookies, I have got a massive box of arrows. Just wow, can't believe the size of these bags of crisps, by the way. When I bought them, I honestly didn't think they were gonna be this big, but I'm actually so happy they are because the value for money was incredible. But this drawer is just, beautiful i might even actually have an arrow as well everyone has actually left mine now so like i said i'm going to get into bed and i'm going to sit and watch the last two episodes of love is blind uk i have been loving this season i've watched the american one i think once before or like i've watched some series of it and i really enjoyed it but for some reason the uk one i've just really gelled with and the last two episodes have come out tonight and it's going to be the weddings however i am slightly annoyed at myself because i've ruined one of the couples whether they got married or not because i searched them on instagram to see and i read the comments and I saw that they didn't get married. So I was like, oh, I think I'm really annoyed that I've seen that now, but I don't know any of the other couples. So that is going to be the next two hours of my, what did I say, Wednesday evening. But we had dinner from Costco. We had the quesadillas and they were incredible. We were all sat there like, oh wow, like this food is good, good. And it really wasn't that expensive either. Like for four people, it probably worked out to be like £1.50 each. And you got like the dips with them and everything. It was really good. So I'm like genuinely tempted some nights, like if we're all going to have dinner, instead of just like cooking it all from scratch, just going to Costco and getting one of the big ready meals because of how like cheap it almost was like that chicken Caesar salad i was showing earlier for eight pound that almost just works that cheaper than what it would be if i was to go and buy all the things separately so i was very thoroughly impressed with that but the kitchen feels amazing now it's got everything in it this is exactly what i wanted just a fresh clean house all the cupboards stocked i just feel 10 times better i can't even explain it to you mercury is coming out of retrograde i'm gonna watch love is blind it is amazing but i am gonna end this little part of the vlog here what am i doing tomorrow i'm getting my nails done in the morning and then fingers crossed i just waiting for to respond but i'm getting my hair extensions put in not like actual permanent extensions just clipping extensions but the clippings always last me like four or five days so fingers crossed she's still coming to do my hair tomorrow night and then i'm gonna have long hair for pride the extensions arrived earlier and they're given like 30 inch hair and it looks amazing but they were just slightly too light for my hair so if she comes i'm gonna need her to put a toner on my actual hair because my hair looks a bit yellow i haven't actually like, i always get so many questions I haven't actually dyed my hair now i think it's nearly two years or just over two years i've just let it grow out 
out, which is why like this is how much it's grown because this is my natural color and then this is what it used to be. So kind of when it's straight, it looks a little bit dip dyed, even though it's not dip dyed, it's just grown out hair. But I just want to grow my hair as long as I possibly can. And I think like the best way to do that is just to not put like any dye on it. But I have got to the point now where I maybe do need a little toner because it has gone slightly yellow and it's probably from all the traveling and like going in and out of pools and everything. But yes, yeah, so the fingers crossed that's going to happen. So maybe I will end this vlog here actually, because I feel like I've done quite a lot in the last two days to warrant me ending this vlog here. So I will end it here, but thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Thank you all so much for all of the love on the homely vlogs. Like I said, I'm really enjoying just being back home, being back in Manchester and just vlogging back in my house. Like it's just so lovely and feel like I'm actually getting to like speak to you rather than just showing you like loads of montages of what I'm doing all the time. So yeah, thank you so much for all the love. I see it, I appreciate it and it makes me really happy. And thank you all for the love on TikTok as well. I've been posting a lot on TikTok recently. The thing is with TikTok, I don't like the platform in the sense of like, I think people can be horrible on there, but I love making the videos. So if I see the comments are starting to go a bit south, I just don't read them. But I've really been loving, like putting a lot of time and effort into my TikToks recently. So yeah, thank you all so much for the love over there. And then other than that, I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new vlog. Mwah.